Greenfield Pain Bill. Yes. And all the people in that community were celebrating how great this was. Mm -hmm. I wasn't celebrating. Mm -hmm. Because while this bill says that children um, over 20 weeks cannot be aborted, what happens to the children that are less than 20 weeks gestation? Mm -hmm. Does not the word of God say, yes. thou shalt not murder? Yes. Does not our Constitution say that no one shall be delight, deprived of life, liberty, or property without due process of law? This is in the 14th Amendment. Mm -hmm. And yet, by that law, we have basically said that it's okay to kill children less than 20 weeks old. They're still children. Yes. And I'm sorry, but there are a lot of conservative pro-life Christians out there that are saying, oh, they were celebrating this passage of this bill in Texas. And I don't know why we're celebrating. We have compromised. We have compromised the word of God for political expediency. And brothers and sisters, this church, the church, I'm not saying this church in particular, but the church at large, we need to wake up. And we need to say, no abortion. I don't stand for pro-life. I'm not a pro-life person. I'm an abolitionist. Okay, I'm an abolitionist. This song is about abolishing all abortion because every innocent child that is murdered is the murder of an innocent life.
wrote this song back in 1976. I was 16 years old. And I'm actually recording this on video because my brother Dave, who's 61 years old, wants to wants to a recording of it. It's called Praise the Lord. Have you ever heard of Merlin Brothers? Anybody heard of Merlin Brothers? Well, he had he wrote a book called um, Prison to Praise, and his whole teaching on praising the Lord in all circumstances. That's what this song is about. Don't go around thinking you're ugly. 